Hey, come on out. The coast is clear. She's she's in the shower. It's safe. Hey, are you sure the coast is clear? Yeah, I drew all over her with Sharpie earlier today, so she should be in the shower for a while. So, uh, so... How are things? Oh, no, you go. No, you first. I really can't. <laughs> Oh, us. <laughs> we have fun. To be honest, my day was stressful. So I started out on building this really great web, you know, with the sticky stuff that comes out of my butt. Oh, right, of course. Yeah, webbing. So I'm building this really great web, geometrical shapes. I've been trying that new rhombus idea you've been telling me about. And, and things are going great. I just, I got this big juicy fly in there, and then who should come down but that Bitch. Ephraim, she's my girlfriend, don't call her. Okay, fine, 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 let me finish the story. So I'm building this really great web, fly me, and then that b Your girlfriend comes downstairs, and what does she start doing? She starts vacuuming. Ephraim, it's spring cleaning. She's trying to help me out. Well, what am I supposed to do? Oh, huh? yeah, why should you care about something that I'm interested in? Oh, come on, don't say that. Why do you think I took that uh, entomology class at the junior college? Oh, great. You can sum me up that easily? Bugs? You think that's my only interest? Insects? I have a master's in English literature from Bard. When's the last time you ever read a poem? May have never? Listen, I'm sorry my girlfriend was cleaning. Here, I, I brought you something. What is it? Open it and find out. Wow! A bag of kittens! You shouldn't have... out of the womb. That's how I like them. Wait a minute. Womb kitties? What's going on? All right, you, you got me, Ephraim. There's, there's something we need to talk about. Oh, no. It's, it's me and Swellen. I proposed to her earlier today, right after I drew on her a Sharpie. Did she? Yes, she accepted. Oh, well, oh. Come on, don't be like no, that. No, 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 I mean, it's not a big deal. It's not like I'm making a big deal out of it. It's just I'm, I'm shocked. Is that, is that the word I'm looking for? Yes, I'm shocked. I mean, but you know what? Things are going to be exactly the same. You'll still live up there in the human world. I'll live down here. You can uh, come down and we can play that Xbox you always want to play once I have all thumbs. See, that's the thing. And this is really hard, but... You know how Sue Ellen feels about spiders! Oh, come on! She she hates them! Remember the day we met? How could I forget? Your gun stuck in the bathtub. You couldn't get up because the sides were, were too slippery. What are those made out of anyways? Porcelain. Oh, porcelain. <clears throat> I mean, it's it's like the island in Lost for spiders in there. <laughs> Is it purgatory? I don't know. Could be. She called me in there because I was supposed to step on you. I was going to do it, too. I... I raised my foot, but as soon as I stared down into those dozens of beautiful, black, glittering, terrifying eyes... Oh, stop, you charmer. Do you remember what you said to me as I stood there with my foot raised? Of course. I said, and I, being poor, have only my dreams. I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly, because you tread on my dreams. Beautiful. Who is that? Chaucer? Yates. Well, I knew. Things were going to be different between me and you from that moment on. I said, honey, instead of killing this poor, beautiful creature, let us set him free. And she coldly replied, Curly, if you do that, this relationship is over. You hear me? Over! When I come back into this bathroom, that spider may be dead. Well, I knew I couldn't do it, so I, I hid you in the medicine cabinet, and I... I flushed the toilet. And the rest is history. Sorry. Our story. Best decision of my life. But, but things have changed. People mature. I need a wife. You have me! A human wife, Ephraim! Oh, now we have standards all of a sudden. But think of it. You and me? What would people say? They would say, there goes a man who's chosen a life of arachnidian bliss over humdrum humanity. I wish, Ephraim. I wish. I guess, I guess I'm not as strong as you need me to be. Because I'm black, isn't it? No! No! Ephraim! It's because you're terrifying, I mean. All those legs, 
You have mandibles that can puncture a man's boot and deliver enough venom to kill an elephant. Two. No, I can't. I can't go down this road again. I'm asking you to leave. I can't leave you. Don't you understand? She's arachnophobic. She's terrified and jealous of you. If you stay here, she'll kill you. No, I need you to pack your things and go. Done. I have no concept of belongings. What are those? Do you? Do you want your exoskeleton back? No, you may keep it. That was a birthday present. I want you to have it to remember me by when I was thinner. Thank you. Well, this is it. It's been good. No, it's been great. Two roads diverged in the yellow wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. <laughs> to be honest, I'm having a lot of trouble not eating you right now. It's instinct. I can't fight it. <laughs> Curly? Curly? Uh, Sue Ellen! Ephraim! Oh, that's my name. Who are you talking to? Uh, nobody. I was just checking the oil level. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Curly, there's a giant spider! Do something! What? Where? I don't... I don't see anything. I think... It is right there! It's huge! I... I know. He lives here. With me. He's my friend. Wait, I don't understand. Is this the spider from two years ago? I didn't think you'd understand. Oh. Oh, I understand. Yeah, I understand that you're gonna kill him. What? Right now. What? Huh? Don't make me choose! Oh, you have to! It's either him or me! It's fine, Curly. Kill me. I knew this time was coming for a very long time now. And I've been running from it. And I run. Really, really fast. I mean, you open the door to the kitchen, and I'm just, like, under that refrigerator. But now that the time is here, I feel a surprising sense of calm. <coughs> I'm sorry. Old friend! Yes! Do it! Kill him! Kill him! Kill ah! me! <laughs> Curly. We don't need you! You mean? Yep. You're gonna be a father of about a thousand. I better go impregnate some cats. Ooh.